breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. New York State is giving out robots to elderly as companions. Each robot comes with a grandchild to help them figure it out. The price of eggs is expected to skyrocket. Of course, when consumers see the prices in stores, they'll be shell-shocked. The final Ellen DeGeneres show airs today. Sources say when the episode taped, the whole crew was in tears because one of her assistants forgot to put cream in her coffee. Making sure breaking news stays broken. Tune in Monday for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. I don't know about you, but I've kind of always been a little scared of them. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. In January, Winnie the Pooh entered the public domain. And not surprisingly, he's now entering the domain of low-budget horror movie. There's a movie on the way called Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And some creepy images hit the web yesterday. It's written by and directed by a guy you never heard of. It stars a bunch of people you never heard of either. Really, there's no information on the plot except that it's, quote, a horror retelling of the famous legend of Winnie the Pooh. No word on when it's coming out either. Right now, it just seems to be... The trailer and some images. For the record, Disney still retains the rights to the version of Winnie that you know and love from them, but the A.A. Milne works that they are based on, they're fair game now. I've got exclusive audio from the trailer for the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, the little cosby I like your dogs. Who are you? Oh, bother. Time to remember why we really celebrate this weekend. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. Memorial Day weekend, of course, to celebrate the uh, brave men and women we lost in service of this great country. Uh, it's also a time for many of us to get together for the first time in the summer, do some outdoor activities, have some barbecues, have some family fun, have some time. But you got to re- be careful. Avoid the viruses, the variants, and, well, the newest virus. Here it comes, and it's not discreet. You'll get the scariest outbreaks from people that you meet. You get the box from a monkey. People get sick all around. It's not as bad as COVID, but it can still put you down. We're just a little infectious. Got an open source, stay away. Better get to a doctor and get another shot today. Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A couple in Scotland named Alex and Jane Hamilton finally got married after six decades together. He's 91, she's 89. All the reports are calling it a 60-year engagement, but they actually never got engaged until a few weeks ago. Uh, He casually said, I think we should get married. She said, okay. They had a full Scottish wedding last Saturday with kilts and bagpipes and the whole run of it. One of their kids joked he didn't get down on one knee to propose because it would have been dangerous at his age. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. What's a yam bag? A fool, an idiot, a blockhead, a dunce, or an ignoramus. You know, a dullard, simpleton, or a clot, nitwit, dipstick, pea brain, mouth breather, or cretin. It's now time to announce the winner of Prospector's Yam Bag of the Week. Here are the nominees. Nominee number one. A 53-year-old woman tried to outrun the cops in Minnesota last Monday, but they caught up to her after she accidentally drove into a bunch of wet cement. Nominee number two. An Ohio man was charged with DUI last week for operating an Amish buggy while intoxicated. He was passed out and going down the wrong side of the road. The buggy even crashed into a deputy's car. But no one was hurt. Nominee number three. Two men in Louisiana were arrested over the weekend for trying to transport a house without the proper permits and then leaving the house in the middle of the road. It also rammed into numerous mailboxes, road signs, and power lines. And the winner is... The woman who drove into the wet cement while trying to run from the cops. You 
are the yam bag of the day, and we'll move on to Friday's yam bag of the week competition. Stay tuned for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day, weekday mornings right here on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.